We're in Windows Server 2012. I'm going to show you how to fix an access is denied when you try to start some different services such as the diagnostic policy or the software protection. So you can see in our event log the diagnostic policy service uh, access is denied when it tried to start. And if we go to our server manager, and we open up services and just try to manually start the services let's see what happens so let's go to our diagnostic policy see it's set to automatic choose start and it fails because access is denied if we double click on it we see log on the local service is set up but for some reason the local service doesn't have the rights to this. So we can look at dependencies, but it really doesn't matter because nothing is being dependent on this one and several other ones. So this is how we fix it. We have to type a couple of commands into a command prompt. It could also be a PowerShell, it doesn't matter. The first one is going to be a net command. Net local group administrators add network service. Click enter. And now we want to do the same thing again. With the local service. Enter. Now, I got errors because I had just typed these commands in a few minutes ago, but you won't see those errors if the local service and the network service is not added. So you can just ignore my errors because you should not get those.